happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to show you all how to remove um full cover tips um essentially tips that have been applied using the gel x method and so these are some tips that i've had on now i've had them on for a little over a week no about a week and a half i've had them on um i wore these nails to a family vacation at disney and y'all they actually held up really well uh like i said it's a week and a half later going strong only one of the nails popped off well they really didn't pop off i kind of pulled it off and so this is being held on with um, an adhesive tab but the rest of the nails are on strong no lifting or anything like that and so yeah i'm ready to change my set out and so i'm going to show you all how i remove look at that stuff is on really good so i'm going to show you all how i remove my um gel x nails i actually use rice to remove my nails when i need to do soak offs and things like that and i'm going to soak them off and so i have these little trays here that i got from my local beauty supply store i also have my rice here which you will want to make sure you heat up inside of a microwave safe bowl this here is the bowl that i'll be using to place the rice in and then you'll also need some acetone 100 percent acetone um, i have a nail clipper here to clip my nail tips down and then you'll also need a file just to file off the um clear top coat i'm gonna go ahead and clip these down file off the top coat and then get ready for soaking okay first i'm going to go ahead and clip these all the way down kind of cute <laughs> I like this maybe I could just do a short set oh I like this wow you guys actually kind of like this set I kind of want to keep this on maybe I'll just wear this on my trip oh my goodness these are cute okay so anywho so you'll want to clip them all down to size and then you want to just take your file and file off that top coat so I'm gonna just go in with my sanding band and do that really quick Next, you'll want to go ahead and pour your rice into a bowl. And I normally heat mine up for about a minute and a half, and it makes the rice nice and hot. I'm just going to kind of place this in here just so that these get nice and hot too, okay? I kind of want the rice surrounding all of these, right? So that the acetone can get warm while my fingers are soaking. Then I take some baby aquaphor. Um, you really could just take like Vaseline or whatever, but I'm just gonna put this around my cuticles just so that they don't get too dried out. Um, so I'm gonna just place that around all of my cuticles here. I'm gonna take some acetone. I actually have this acetone already poured in this bottle. I'm gonna just take that and fill up all of these little, little finger holes here. And then next what you'll do is you just set your fingers inside all of the holes here and you just let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll check it after about 15, 20 minutes. I do also take a towel and I place it over my hand and that is just to allow for the heat to kind of stay there and penetrate the nails to make sure that they are soaking off as quickly as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna let my hand sit for about 15, 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so it's been 15 minutes and let's see what the nails are looking like. Let me go ahead and take them out. Okay, so this is what the nails are looking like after they've been soaked for 15 minutes. And I do normally use um, these type of tools. I have this tool right here and then I use my regular cuticle pusher to help me remove my nail product. So I think what I wanna do though, is I wanna take my time and just do one finger at a time. That way the other nails are continuing to soak and still be trying to get loose for me to take off as opposed to me just um, taking them all out and then you know, not being able to get them off so easily. So yeah, it looks like this is gonna pop right on off here, okay. And you see here, it, it kinda, the nail just separated from the actual full cover tip and then this part is still on my nail. So let's see how easy this is to pop off. 
that's still there a little bit. So I'm gonna just kind of put that finger back in and let it soak. I'm gonna do my next finger here. Let's see how easy this pops off. This one seems like it's on there pretty good. Let me just scrape away. I kind of don't want this these products to mix with my rice because I want to reuse my rice. So I'm gonna try to maybe point my finger out a little bit further here. <laughs> Y'all know I don't like the waste product, okay? So I'm just gonna go through and just kind of scrape off what comes off easily. Like so. That one wasn't so, this one's not so easy to get off like that other one was. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, this one's not looking so easy to get off. So, I'm probably just going to go ahead and let that soak a little bit longer. Let's see what the next nail is looking like. pretty nicely I'll be honest you guys I really hate soaking off my nails that's why I really enjoy my peel off base coat that I normally use but in times where I need my nails to last I actually need to avoid that step and so yeah this one's kind of starting to lift a little bit I'm just gonna put that back in let's see what my pinky is looking like let's see that all came loose pretty good It all came off pretty good there. No lifting on the sides though. Oh, okay, boom, that popped off. That's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and soak that again. Now let's see what's going on with this thumb. looking like it wants to come off so I'm gonna soak that again and here I'm just gonna go ahead and take off that that nail glue that would that adhere the full cover tip on okay and you want to try to be as gentle as possible with the nails I know sometimes I can tend to be a little bit rough on my nails just because I know they can take a little bit of a beating but not everybody's nails are like mine so y'all just you know any parts of the video that's helpful for you use it and those that are not you know don't because I'm no expert in what I'm doing here but yeah, let's see, this is on here pretty good. There we go, so now that popped right on off. So that's good. Let's see about this nail here. This one's getting a little bit loose on the sides here. On my frame, let's see. There we go, I can feel it pulling and separating from the nail. And I'm just gonna wedge that under here and just continue to have it pop right on off. That separated there. Let's see. Like so. Okay. Go ahead and soak that again. This one popped off. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the nail glue that came off with it. Like so. And then the last nail here is my thumbnail. Let's see if I can get that to come off. And I'm just kind of gently working it up and that popped right on off. So yeah, y'all, let that soak one more time. So all of the nails are off, which is awesome. So that took maybe like 20 minutes to do total, not too bad. Um, I definitely think using this rice trick is really helpful because it stays warmer a lot longer than just using hot water, you know? So now I'm just kind of going through and cleaning up any other extra nail glue that might be hanging around the nails here. Overall, that looks good. So all the nails are off. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on this hand and I'll be right back. So this is the aftermath. I actually forgot to hit record again, but I just poured all of my rice back into my bag out of my bowl. And to be honest with you guys, it's like 30 minutes later and the rice is actually still 
warm so that's the reason I really like using rice as a way to heat um, have that heating element whenever I'm doing or removing my nails because it stays hot for a really really long time so um, I actually just stored this away um, so that the next time I need to soak off that's what I use I just keep reusing the same rice because I'm not trying to waste uh, food that could be going in our mouths, okay? I really liked using this as a way to kind of hold my acetone as I soak my hands. Uh, this, in combination with the rice in that bowl, is just like absolutely perfect. And so, yeah, y'all, this is what the nails are looking like after they popped off. Um, some of the nails were actually loose over here, so I ended up just um, putting some oil underneath the nails and wiggling them off, and I was able to get them to pop off. There is a little bit of nail damage here, so, you know, you guys, just be careful when you're removing your nails. Um, I'm not too stressed about that. I'm actually about to put on some press on nails and so I'm going to clip my nails down but be gentle on your nails you guys don't <laughs> do what I do do as I say okay because um, I wasn't super gentle I'm kind of in a rush trying to get these nails off so I didn't take my time like I should have but um, I've got very minimal damage I just need to clip that pinky off and then the rest are okay so yeah this is what they look like after the fact um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and get on to my next set let me know how do you all remove your full cover tips is there an easier way that I maybe don't know about any tips suggestions recommendations feedback it's appreciated I'm no expert here so I'm just uh, learning along the way um, just like the rest of us so yeah Okay, happy people, as promised, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of my 3K giveaway. So I used the comment picker tool that I found, I'd like YouTube how to use it, and I made sure to do the hashtag ain't she cute though, and filtered any duplicate users to make sure everybody had one entry. And then I went over and hit the start button, and the winner of my 3K giveaway is... You are Dari, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Congratulations, love. Be sure to send me a message on Instagram so I can get your giveaway prize sent over to you as soon as possible. Thank you for everyone who entered. And if you didn't win, don't be discouraged. I will be hosting more giveaways here in the near future. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye